It's the last 10 minutes of 2022. Uh, everyone's gone home. I'm uh, covering the phone just till we hand over to FCMS and uh, we shut down the practice for for the new year break um, and uh, on the theme of why you can't get uh, an appointment with your GP uh, I thought I'd do another film and uh, using a new analogy um, inspired by the recent World Cup uh, Football World Cup and, and that's to compare a primary care to a game of football and this analogy explains why there's so many GPs who, who really hate what they're doing can't wait to stop and are desperately unhappy at the same time as that the service uh, isn't great and consequently since uh, primary care is the foundation for our NHS uh, that has a massive knock-on into secondary care services especially A&E and why people um, get a poor service when they arrive at A&E people waiting hours in ambulances which is just not acceptable um, and so um, you know where we are explain where we are and why we are here the question is how do we get out of it anyway the, the analogy is this so if, imagine a game of football and uh, when you play the game you sp you spend the whole 90 minutes running as hard as you can to get away from the football and if the football comes anywhere near you you kick it as hard as you can in any direction so consequently by the end of the game you've not scored any goals uh, the crowd are booing your heart's racing you ache from head to foot because of all the effort running away from the ball you're sweating uh, and your face is bleeding because you've caught the ball straight in the nose when somebody's just whacked it straight at you. And uh, you come off the pitch, the, the manager's really unhappy with you. And uh, although you're earning a lot of money, you hate football, and yet you've got to go back and do it again the next day and the day after. And all you can hope for or wish for is the day when you can stop playing football. And this... To, to my mind, this is what's happening in primary care. And, and the football represents clinical responsibility. So everybody's doing their best to avoid clinical responsibility and uh, avoiding making decisions. And people are very good at coming up with reasons not to make a decision. Now, if you compare that with somebody who plays the game properly, who makes themselves available for the football, will roll a nice pass into a teammate who scores a stunning goal. Uh, they come off the pitch, they've not had to run as far uh, for as long, and, and they have a really good feeling, they've scored a great goal, the team might have won. The manager loves them, the crowd are, are cheering them, and consequently they look forward to the next game of football. So that's, that is the problem. We, we, people say they're working really, really hard, but in fact, they're really working hard at not working, if that makes sense. And um, we need to change that mindset where people um, uh, embrace the work. And that's where the job satisfaction comes from. And that's where the improved service and the irony is you end up working less hard okay because when you work as a team for the benefit of each team member ultimately each member of the team ends up doing less work with better outcomes okay all we have to do is um make that happen <laughs> i think um Continuity of care is a great way of doing that. And I would envisage that we should have uh, large practices made up of uh, a chain, like a chambers of individual practitioners, all working um, with, uh, under one umbrella and utilising the services of 
attached stuff. And I think that would work. But it, it means that we individual practitioners need to uh, change the way they see their clinical practice. Um, that's going to be very difficult. So, um, let's, let's hope some clever person can work out how to make that happen. Anyway, all the best for the new year. Looking forward to 2023. It's going to be a big year. The old link surgery, we're uh, closing down and uh, I shall be uh, moving from a provider to a user of services. Hopefully not in the immediate future. All the very best.